Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this short little video I am going to be making arsenic trisulfide from arsenic triiodide. Um, this is some arsenic triiodide that I made. Um, I, I use the exact same method that I used in the video before where I made it. You can see I have some more going here. Just using that tall column to keep it cooled. Got a little stuck to the side there. Really hoping that the refluxing toluene gets that. Anywho, um, I have tried this on a small scale and after a couple of days of actually playing around with this, see it's very pretty, um, I have figured out how to finally make it work. Um, I'm not sure if my previous conclusions about dissolving arsenic and RFNA producing uh, mostly arsenate are true or not. Um, I think they are, um, because just because of the precipitate that I it gave me with copper arson or copper acetate, la la la, um, being you know it was this sky baby blue ugliness. Um, I don't know. I mean, it should have been Paris green. Um, I think you have to use much less strong nitric acid in, if you want to make Paris green. Anywho, so this is arsenic triiodide, and I settled with this because, one, I know how to make it, and, and it's very, very easy to make, um, just like antimony triiodide. And number two, um, I know the arsenic is in the plus three oxidation state, so there is no question about oxidation states in this particular compound. Now, what we are going to do, I haven't tried to do it with this much of it, so we're going to see how this goes. We are going to add water to it, and even though it is supposed to hydrolyze, um, and I, I don't think it necessarily even really matters if it does. It will just hydrolyze to um, arsenous acid. Um, you can see that it forms a solution. And that's actually kind of normal for this compound. Even though it isn't supposed to really form stable solutions in water, it does for a short time. What I'm going to do here is heat this up and stir it to try to get as much to dissolve as possible. Um, and then we are going to react it with some hydrochloric acid and sodium sulfide to precipitate out arsenic trisulfide. This should be a very simple and straightforward process, so I will come back when this stuff is dissolved. And we will go from there. And and hey, um, the ultimate product of this hydrolysis is supposed to be arsenic trioxide. So if it fails and produces arsenic trioxide, that is still a win. Okay, so here is the solution of the arsenic triiodide that I created. Um, I did have to filter it. And I was not able to get all of it to dissolve, um, no matter what the hell I did. So, I don't know. There is definitely some in here, and we will just have to be content with that for now. So, that is just some hydrochloric acid. Um, you do need to add it, since it is less soluble in... A solution that has HCl in it than it is going to be just in plain water. All right, so that mix in. Okay, sodium sulfide, not a hydrate solution, and there we go. Whoa, that's hydrogen sulfide. That's coming out of solution there. Yeah, you could just bubble hydrogen sulfide through the solution, and that would also work. And as soon as I make it, some tree jizz falls into it, because of course. I forbid my shit stays pure, I just can't have nice fucking things. Alright. And... Oh, hello, Starbark. 
arsenic trisulfide is very, very insoluble. I'm not sure why you've got to have the HCl in there to drop it out. Like I said, you might be able to skip that part and bubble HCl through, or um, H. 2s through the solution but i don't think so i think it's like antimony where you just have to have some hcl in there in order to get the sulfide to precipitate out so whatever anywho there you go arsenic trisulfide i'm probably going to what i'll do is i'll filter this off and dry it and then i will use it to make sodium thioarsenate just because, to my knowledge, nobody has done that on YouTube or BitChute before. So, cool, right? Anyway, if you liked that quickie little video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, whatever. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks, please. And until the next one, y'all, I'll see you later.